Hi, I'm Belinda. Welcome to another episode of my photography tips. Today I'd like to share with you a very specific example how I use histogram to make adjustments on my camera in order to get the perfect exposure. Now I'm going to photograph this beautiful big tree in the garden. It's a very old tree and uh, I'm going to use my wide angle set on this tripod to take this picture. And uh, a couple of things I wanted to remind you, in order to be more efficient and productive or to avoid uh, extra uh, fumbling in the field, I typically uh, set my camera um, with the, my default setting before I go out for a um, landscape shoot. For example, I set uh, f-stop uh, 8, uh, sometimes could be even higher, and I always leave aperture priority as the default in ISO 100. Uh, so um, now, my camera right now, uh, let me just get, have a very quick uh, examination. Yeah, it's uh, uh, ISO 100, uh, f-stop 8, and um, let me make sure there is no exposure compensation. So now this is the back of my camera. Just wanted to show you what exposure compensation means. I'm using a Canon camera. I'm pretty sure other cameras uh, with other brands you use have exposure compensation as well. So I can access to my exposure compensation by pressing menu and some other buttons. But here it is uh, pretty standard. Expo.com is a shortcut for exposure compensation. And by default, I always set this as zero before I take any first photo. Uh, I'm gonna take the first photo of this tree. Now, this is the first photo I just took. Pretty exciting. Um, Instead of showing you the histogram in the back of my camera, which should look something as tiny as this, I just imported this photo into my uh, photo software Lightroom. And um, you can see a, a raw file and retouched, which should be exactly the same as you can see in the back of my camera. On the upper right hand side of the, my screen right now, you can see the histogram of this image. Um, the shape of the histogram in the Lightroom should be the same as um, the shape of the histogram in the back of my camera. And there's a very important uh, message your histogram gives you, which is to tell you whether your photo is underexposed or overexposed. So as I introduced in my former uh, episode before, as long as the curve of your histogram is located in uh, the middle of this rectangular without any spike to the left edge and toward the right edge, um, your photo is uh, relatively well exposed. So for this particular example, we are very lucky. It looks like this photo is very well exposed. The curve, the majority of curve of the histogram is located in the middle. However, if you look closer, it might be still slightly located in the left part of the histogram. So in order for me to um, brighten up this image, there is a very simple tool. All I need to do is to use exposure compensation in the camera. So what I did in this particular example is to move my exposure compensation marker from zero to one, which means I have forced the camera to add one stop exposure to this photo. So I'm gonna take the second photo with exactly the same setting. Um, no change on ISO, still 100. No change on f-stop, still f8. No change on um, the uh, aperture priority mode. All right, this is a very exciting. This is the second photo we just took. Compared to the first photo, we can obviously see that the second photo has a boost in brightness. And all we did in the camera was to adjust the exposure compensation by one stop. And if we look at 
the histogram, we can also see the second photo has a curve tilted uh, moving toward the right as compared to the histogram of the first photo. So for experiment purpose, and I actually took a third picture using um, exactly the same camera setting, everything else exactly is the same. And all I did was to increase the exposure compensation by an extra one more stop. So the total exposure compensation right now is two stops. So this is the third photo we took. Now compared to the second one, we can see that the third photo is even brighter. And if we look at the histogram of the third photo, uh, it's moving, the curve is moving further toward the right, which indicates that the third photo is, uh, relatively speaking, overexposed compared to the second photo. So if we quickly go through the three photos we took exactly at the same place, this is the first photo without exposure compensation. This is the second photo with one stop exposure compensation. And this is the third photo with two stops exposure compensation. We can see that every extra stop compensation, uh, exposure compensation we, may, we adjust in the camera will result in extra brightness in your photo. So the important message of this video tutorial is to show you how quickly you can use two tools in your camera to uh, perfect your exposure. One, number one, obviously, is your histogram. You have to first understand whether the photo is underexposed or overexposed. And the histogram in the back of your camera will look like something like this. And if, according to the histogram, your photo is underexposed, you can increase your exposure compensation and vice versa. I hope this video tutorial is not too drag and scientific for you, but literally taking pictures is so easy. And all you need to do is to understand the tools that you're given. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching this and uh, I will see you in my future episode very soon.